Well, welcome everybody to the Tuesday, February 20th meeting of the Conway Select Board. Although, if you take a look at the fashion statement rocking by the Select Board tonight, it looks like we're the crew of the SS Conway. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, uh, and uh, at 6.30 tonight, uh, this will be the joint meeting of the Select Board and Finance Committee. Um, so I'll call the meeting to order. And a reminder that this is being taped on FCAT and by Zoom, but if either or both of those fails, the meeting will still proceed live and in person. Um, first item, vote to approve the minutes of February 12th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There are blissfully no warrants tonight. Um, meetings attended by select board members. Uh, none since our last meeting. Oh, sorry, Chris is supposed to go first. Oh, I am? Oh, uh, <laughs> none. I, I had a uh, frontier budget meeting and a frontier school committee meeting. The budget committee um, forwarded a proposed budget to the school committee. The school committee voted to present that budget to the public on March 5th. They did not vote the budget yet, but it, what we'll be discussing on March 5th. There's a bunch of good reasons why I try to get as many of us to attend that this meeting this year. Um, we'll talk about that when the select board arrives. Uh, and then uh, was at a meeting Thursday with Veronique and Ron Sweet with the USDA uh, engineer regarding, regarding possible opportunities to be of assistance to the town um, on uh, road sites, uh, culverts, whatnot, on Shelvin Falls Road at, at the approximate intersection with Emerson Wallow Road. Um, and Ver Veronique addressed that at much greater length in her update. You want me to so put a headphone on? <laughs> yes. Um, public comments, anybody want to say anything before we get started? business so we'll go, we'll go first come first serve um, and that is that's you Beth you were the first one in the room yes I'm here with Jody Wally, Great. and C.S. Stewart from the sustainability committee right. um, we're here to talk did you all get this Conway Street Lights update yes yes two-sided yes two-sided okay. all right so we're here to talk about um, uh, what we've been doing, uh, we've been gathering information, doing some research, having a lot of conversations with the very generous Shelburne Energy Committee who has provided a ton of information, which we also uh, gave to you all to take a look at, just to talk about um, our goal, what well, we think it's your goal, to save energy money and to improve the quality and siting of street lights in Conway. So we are just attempted to summarize <clears throat> our findings with this little very short sheet. Um, as you all know, we have currently 67 streetlights. The vast majority of them, if not all of them, are high sodium. Uh, eventually, they're going to have to be converted to LEDs because that's what Eversource is going to do, whatever we decide. And um, we have to make a decision on, on how we're going to go forward with that. And we're just looking to uh, present this to you and to get a sense of how, how you want us to proceed and where you want us to go with this, basically. Um, uh, so because, our, as you're no doubt very aware, our, our current sighting of streetlights is historical. <laughs> Some of it makes obvious sense and some of it does not any longer um, which is why the first bullet here is eliminate many of the current 67 street lights just for perspective um, Shelburne has a hundred street lights and they have quite a dynamic business district Ashfield has 18 mm. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. saying yeah um, um, 
So we would think to save both energy and money, uh, we would be looking into um, the town purchasing the light fixtures from Eversource and switching over to LEDs. To improve the quality of lighting, we'd, we'd be um, thinking you want to encourage us to get dimmable, customizable LEDs. Rather than the single option that Eversource currently offers, which is just like one type of LED bulb. Um, 30 watt, 3600 lumens, 3000 Kelvin LED lights, they're non-dimmable, they're non-customizable. Uh, even if you can shield them, often what happens is they're shielded directly where they are, but then the light goes to the neighbor's homes. Not great. Um, and that's all summed up in the next set of bullet points of what, the, what, the, what some other options out there for LED lights are. Uh, if you went for dimmable or lower wattage, you could save even more energy than just going over to uh, LEDs. Um, so there's so over 100 towns in Massachusetts that decide, have decided to purchase their own street lights and, and go over to LEDs, including a whole bunch around us. Hadley's been doing it for a long time. Sunderland's been doing it for a long time. Shelburne is bringing this up to their town meeting um, in June or whenever their town meeting is, maybe May. Um, so we, uh, Jody has been in discussion with Real Time Energy. They're an energy consultant, and they would be. Um, contracted with to do an initial uh, design phase, not design phase, but an initial, what would you call it? Assessment. Assessment, <laughs> survey and assessment with recommendations. Um, there's an upfront cost to that, which we need to request at the, at the next town meeting. And then we then we find out what the next stage of, of the cost would be, and that would, that would go, we would hope, if, if this is something you're interested in pursuing uh, to the special town meeting in the fall. But uh, no that way, kind no of way to combine both of those into one vote? Oh, no, I don't see how. We wouldn't know the price. Also, also we're, we'd be pursuing um, a grant or two for the um, changeover. So we really wouldn't know. So do you have anything to add to me? Or um, just that we're expecting the uh, estimate from RTE. Well, I mean, we've gotten an initial one, but the committee still needs to look at it before we can present it to you. But that should be very soon. Um, that's just for the initial um, phase where they would do a survey of all our lights. And, very detailed um, inspection of all of them and map it on the G, G plus map and so on so you can see exactly what I've been all on. And <clears throat> then after that we can decide and, and it's interesting because I've, I've had numerous conversations also with Mr. Balladini who's our ever source. Ever source and she made it very clear that they have nothing to do with which lights we have. It's completely up to us. And it's, it comes either from the town administrator or the select board to tell our source to turn them in that we don't want those lights. <coughs> one so interesting thing I found out is that there are two light poles on 116 that the town owns because they were new wooden poles that were put up just for lights. And so if someone runs into them, <laughs> the town is responsible for replacing them. So that was just an interesting fact that came out of all of this. Oh, and the, and the library. And the library. Oh, yeah. And then the library, Eversource has been charging the library for the two lights that were taken down at the street level. I discovered this in <laughs> talking, in looking at the listing of all the lights and talking to the friends of the library people and they looked looked at their bills and they found out that they were still being charged. So yeah, every source has said that they will reimburse them for okay. the amount of time. It's been for like a couple of years. <laughs> I know, it's been a few years. 
Um, nice find. <laughs> yeah. right, I know, just that alone. No, um, that is a really um, good find. One thing that's interesting to me is that neither Eversource nor an energy consultant would be willing to recommend uh, which lights to illuminate. That's on us to determine. When you say that the that there's the, the dimmable, programmable options, who would be the one doing that? That's who would be the one dimming? Who would be the one programming? Oh, yeah, that, yes. Okay. So that would be the one, somebody in town. So that adds a level of complexity to the process and um, unknown if that would be worth it or not. It's not necessary to, to do that, but if we wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary to do it. You could think about going just for a lower wattage in general, preset stuff. You know, between this hour and this hour, things like that. You could do that even if it's not like smart. The smart controls adds um, uh, adds um, both complexity and an initial upfront cost. Did Eversource say anything about if we decide not to use fixtures, if they would decommission them? Sorry, I'm not sure what it means by decommissioning. Like if they would take down the fixtures, cap uh, them, and take the fixtures away? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. We need to clarify that. Okay. Yeah. And if we decide to take the street light out of service, what happens to the pole that the street light is on? Well, the pole stays there. And that still belongs to Eversource. Or to, I don't know if it belongs to Eversource or the electric company, but whatever it belongs to. One of the biggest blights of the downtown is the number of poles. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, that's something we can find out more about. So, I find that very interesting about how many lights Ashfield has yeah, compared was, to us. I was really shocked. shocked. Yeah. I was shocked. I mean, that's where we should be more aligned to. Than Shelburne. Yes. <laughs> well, and also, so just for what it's worth, on Tuesday I did. Um, have a chance, very brief, truncated discussion with my, co with our co select board colleagues from Sunderland at the school in town, and they said that getting rid of a bunch of lights was one of the more popular things they've ever done. So. Yeah. In Sunderland. Yeah. And they got rid of the poles too. You know? mm, um, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yes, they. May I? Um, one thing that comes to mind in this discussion is this little stretch right here between here and the uh, parking lot. Mm -hmm. Many people have said they don't want to use the parking lot at night because they can't see well enough to walk. The sidewalk has a little area where it goes around the pole and so on and so forth. It's a little bit irregular. Oh, between the parking lot and the town hall? And yeah. The yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pitch black. It, it pretty much is. So when you're walking back to your car at night, well, I think before any, anybody went forward with any redesign or elimination or anything, there'd be a chance for a town right. forum, but you'd also want to first talk to department heads and mm -hmm. first responders and the highway department mm -hmm. and things like that. Well, that's just one thing that had come to our notice. Yeah. The interesting thing is the pole that's 30 feet on the other side, up, up slightly up the hill. Yeah. All the neighbors there are unanimous. They don't want it. They want it out. They want oh. that light out. And then like get rid of it. These light. And it's it's yeah. 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 Right there across the street from my house. Yeah. It's a light. But it shines on my house. It doesn't shine right. on the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's yeah. no yeah. light. Yeah. There's yeah. no light on the parking lot. Yeah. yeah. So and there's lots of reasons to proceed with the <laughs> with, yeah. the, with a project where you're just looking at everything and analyzing it and deciding what makes what makes sense with the town. Um, there's costs associated with it. Yeah. So. I mean, that's going to ultimately, if, if the decision is made to go to town meeting, ultimately, you know, if the whole idea besides. The dark sky thing is to save money as well. So yes, we will be and able to. We will, energy. The, the math will have to work in that way. Yeah, yeah. So well, there's upfront a cost, long term savings. Exactly. The yes. payback uh, is longer for. A, um, it's it's not a short payback, as far as we know. Well, five or six years. Five or six years. Yeah. That's pretty. 
that's pretty that's short of consideration. Once yeah. you get to that point, you're saving a huge amount of right. money. Much more than we would save by going with Eversource's option. Right. Way much more. And plus, we'd have much better bulbs because theirs apparently don't last very long, yeah. apart from the fact that they're pretty useless. <laughs> well, they're just brighter and glarier. Yeah. So. It's going to be a different question if they had more options, but they don't right now have more options. So. Um, so basically, we're just here to say, mm, do you have any questions and what do you want us to do now? Move forward. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, okay. we, Move I think it's pretty unanimous. We would just say carry yeah. on and yeah. carry get, on. get numbers and carry let's on. see what you can, let's okay. see, see what we can put together. I think, um, okay. I, I would yeah. like if you could ask Eversource if we didn't use poles, if they would take those poles away and cap the base or. Yeah. And does Mass DOT care at all about lighting on 116, or is that something said, that's no, really going to be up to? No, I sent an email, and they haven't responded. So I'm, I'm assuming if it was really urgent, they would say, no, 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 we want to. Well, we'll definitely ask them again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, so I just want to point out the Shelburne Energy Committee, they were super dedicated. They drove to Maine to see lights in action. <laughs> And they went to Pepperell, Mass. They went all over the place. <laughs> yeah, we were very fortunate to link up with them. I, I yeah, it's unbelievable. Two nice. people from the Energy Committee, and I've been emailing them quite a bit because they did a huge amount of research, which has mm -hmm. saved us a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very generous. And that's why I, I, I suggested that you look at their report to their select yeah. board because yeah. it does point out all the reasons why you should do this. No, I, I then we should send them a food basket. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the reason that, that, that we sent this project or the select board voted to ask you to do this back you know months ago because we could see that there was wisdom and value in it and yeah. just we needed it all fleshed out and someone okay. to care about it and all that. So Okay. Like. All right. So carry on. Right. Thank you. Okay. Your work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now yeah. All right, um, Lori, are you just here for the presidential primary? No, no, it's for oh. budgets too. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. um, no, but that's just a standard warrant that has to be signed. Yeah, no. um, uh, All right, Ron. Well, <laughs> so um, we asked you here pursuant to a uh, new policy which we found out that we're one of the only towns that doesn't do this regularly that just was sort of a quarterly update from you or not from you monthly update about uh, what what you're doing and what's going on and yeah that Taking care of the roads and yeah, trying to make them better. But <laughs> I'm awesome. Yeah. Um, um, and well, you know. winter time is winter that we never know what the weather is, so things are tough to really plan to do anything other than snow removal or ice removal. Um, How much has been spent in that bucket so far? What's that? In the snow removal bucket. How much? Sorry, I wish I'd known that I was going to get asked. Oh, I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, if we know if like half of it's gone, or you know, no, we're getting we'll close see. to. Um, no. Well, first off, I haven't bought any salt yet. No. Yeah. So, that's but good. it's getting down. Yeah. Well, that's um, good. Though. It doesn't look like we're going to be using any more than we ever do. It's not been a easy winter, even though we really haven't had a lot of snow, we've had a lot of events. Yeah. And the little events are more expensive than the big one, um, typically. Especially the ones that we've had lately. Um, 
only because they're so drawn out over time that man hours are not pretty fast. Um, we try to do our best with the materials, not using them. I, we do not do pretreatment. Um, we feel that the benefit that you get from pretreating it, especially in a town like ours, that it's a waste of money. Like this last storm, that big storm that we were supposed to get, we would have done a lot of material and for nothing. Plus, in my experience, um, pretreatment causes issues when it does snow because it makes the snow melt and then freeze quicker and it's harder to clean so we don't retreat and typically you have you don't have a whole lot of issues with, i mean yeah maybe during the storm but not in the any in other town um, so we've been last week with the weather that was fairly decent we, or out opening up uh, culverts, um, finding the ones that we're going to have issues with that are somewhat clogged and stuff. So we got a pretty good assessment on that. There's a lot to be done in the spring. Um, yeah. that um, moving forward as soon as we can we we'll want to get into the back to fixing our rooms from the storm damage and on that note um, I need to start ordering materials again from the storm damage from me. so I don't know what you want to know for so that I can order them um, and how do I move forward with that? I would just think of listing the price, right? And if it's, a, I mean, what are we talking? Are we talking just gravel? Or are you talking more culverts? No, right now I'm pretty well good on culverts. Um, mostly gravel, riprap, um, gravel products. And then probably a rental of a roller. And we have, um, I'm assuming you have a, um, a schedule of which streets to do when? It's all weather dependent. Right. I mean, right now it's tough because of the frost. <coughs> Excuse me, the frost. It makes things difficult. Some places you can get too sooner than others. I mean, that was one of my questions on the culverts. So you're going to have to wait till the spring, of course, to start clearing them out, but you have to rent a, a vehicle, right? No. We yeah. have a, uh, a vac. We have a old fire truck that we typically use for cleaning and cold. spray. Yeah. Okay. Um, we there is yes there is some um, catch basins that we're going to have to hire a vac truck to come in to clean out. Um, but I don't know what you how you want this because. You can't just, I could give you a big number. I mean, if you, if it's easier to do it that way, let me, I mean, I'll, we got a lot of stuff to do. So if I had a number of like a hundred grand that I could spend and then when that's up, come back and ask. I don't know if that's a good way to do it. Right now it's tough because we can't do things, but I could stockpile gravel so that when the time comes, we have it. I'm not quite sure how you want this to See, work. I mean, the, this isn't about like pre-approval to spend money because town meeting is the one that approves your spending of money. And they you know, approve. we're talking about emergency money. I mean, we got 
we're getting money from the state, correct? Mm -hmm. That money is going to fix our roads. Is that correct? Um, um, well, yeah. Th there's also the whole issue about the stormwater management stuff, and that's that's that money is going to that as well. But we haven't specifically. We're I, wait a minute now. I, yeah. I'm I'm confused. Our roads aren't the stormwater management. I'm I'm not arguing that that. I mean, I, my, I, I'm confused. My understanding I'm, was that, I mean, the the money that the state gave us was specifically to fix what was broken in the storms. I don't know that we are allowed to use that money. Yeah, we are. It's and there's no there was not those strings attached. It is storm related expenses, and um, and there wasn't even that string attached. But um, but the, so you're the, not. The, you want to spend it on other things and not fixing our roads? I mean, I'm, I'm confused. The two, the two are very much related. Like, for instance, um, Upper Baptist Hill Road, that, you know, as, you, as you're repaving that, to spend some of, with, with you know, th that, you know, to, to, also, to also do on that one side of the road, the drainage project that was recommended by the FERCOG engineers. Like, like that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, it's sort of a, it's not an either or, it's kind of a both. So to Ron's question though, what we're expecting from him in these meetings, the, the way I see it is you have, it should be project based, you have anticipated cost at the beginning, you, then you have actual cost after it's done. You can have a pool of material that's in its own bucket, like gravel, right? And you just pull from that. So don't include that in the actual, in the project cost, you know what I mean? Because it's in the pool cost. And then you have the uh, source how, of funding. How, how much are we getting involved in, instead of just doing the work, you want a whole process before we do the work? I, I'm confused. Um, because we don't have a lot of help. I'm down two guys right now. There's... Maybe shortly we may be down another guy. And I spend all my time, my, my time, working for the town. I'm, I'm frustrated to no end here because everybody wants more and more out of me. There is no more to give. So the, the, and this, I, I'm, this is about communication, though, and you know, like, and and I, you know, I sent a guy that to fill out an application for you a month ago. But it, that guy does not meet the criteria of what we need. Then call him up and tell him that nobody's called him up. He's gotten no response. All right. There's another issue that we need to figure out what's going on because uh, I need to talk to Barney about that. As far as these meetings, though, yeah. right, the monthly meetings, I want to get down to what we're asking Ron to bring to the table, right. right? Instead of going back and forth about which funding should go to which project and stuff like that, Ron comes here, he gives an update. What do we want in that update? So just so you know, in the past, that always went through the town administrator. My that was all part of the town administrator's update in years past. Mm -hmm. um, that whole thing with department heads went through the town administrator and they tip typically was done through their update. Mm -hmm. So you're putting another added thing on me because she knows pretty much what's going on most of the time with us. I mean, as she probably does with the other departments, I'm assuming. Um, I mean, you had it in your budget for an administrative assistant that this is exa this, they could be doing you, this stuff. He doesn't have an administrative assistant. Or what was the title for the position? What was the yes. The person, that person needs me to do them 
things that you're asking that person to do. That person typically doesn't do that stuff for me. They do other things that they can do without my explaining everything to them. Uh, and the last person, she was great, but when you don't understand highway or municipal, it becomes very difficult for that person to, you know, do things that you would like them to do. Um, uh, I'm frustrated. That I don't know where you want me to go. Do you want me to do more administrative, which is what I sh should be doing because being an exempt employee, um, I sh that's what an exempt employee is, is an administrative position. I do physical labor for the town of Conway, 90% of my job. And that's not just 40 hours a week. I, I'm, what I would like to get out of this is just, you know, to have a general idea. What did you do the past couple of weeks? What are the roads that you, you know, all things being equal, assuming we don't have like a bad storm, you know, what do you anticipate working on, you know, in the next two weeks? Because I did we say we're doing this. That changes every, every, constantly. Right. <laughs> only because something happens and that changes your whole schedule. There's, we can't have a schedule that is that you're going to stick to, right? Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I can give you updates of what we did for the last month. Yeah, and I, I feel like you've given us a general. I mean, like you know that you're going to be doing a lot of culvert work in the spring, like that. Well, that means that's trying to repair our roads. Right. Back exactly. There is something that we can, you know, when it rains, we don't have issues. Yeah. And then obstacles, you already named them. You don't have assistant. You don't have enough employees. You're employees working too much the in the field thing. and not as a manager, right? What's that? You're working too much in the field and not as a manager, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if you're short of supplies, you're short uh, uh, vehicles, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's I'm also breakdown, your breakdown changes everything. It's also your opportunity to tell us what you need, right? I mean, that's the way I see it. And if it went through Veronique before, great. It's kind of, I can understand wanting the face to face. So, like, hey, here's what I'm trying to do. Here's the obstacles I'm having. You know, I, I can either stop providing some services because I can't at this point, or you can help me get these things. Mm -hmm. I think the other question we need to answer is this get some clarity about the money. Like, we need to know how much you can spend this summer to repair the roads. We know that we have the emergency funds that were appropriated, and then we have the money that's coming from the state. So, I think we have to get clarity about are we spending that on the roads? Or are we going to, you know, put some of that money aside to do some kind of an engineering project? Um, I mean, I assumed um, that because they gave us money for storm damage, we had to spend that money on storm damage. And I, you know, Phil said there's no strings attached but to that it, money, it, so. But it was also, also about, you know, preventing. It's all, you know, prevent, you know, one of the things that we learn in this is just how, how important it is to make sure that once water goes onto a town road, it does then not go to someone's basement or to their, to destroy their property. Um, that that is something that we didn't used to have to deal with because it didn't used to rain eight inches so in 20 what minutes. what you're saying is so anytime the water comes on the road, now the town can't let it go anywhere else that's going to affect private property. They, they, <clears throat> everything it would, every drop of water is going to affect private property too. But what we're talking is, you know, we now have a historical pattern of places where the water goes from town roads and really damaged a lot of homes in one in a few specific neighborhoods, and um, you know we know what those neighborhoods are. And do you? Yeah, we do. Okay. We do. So. And. Because I'm pretty sure you don't know. 
because once people know that water coming from the town road is an issue on their property, you're going to have people everywhere saying, I don't want the water on our property. And you're opening up such a big can of worms there that this town will never recover from that precedent. That is, that, see, and that's not an excuse to like not take action when you know people are losing heating systems and you know that they're losing uh, you know, water pumps and hot water heaters and electric panels. Like, we know where those things took place at. And it Your was house, a, right? Um, um, the main Poland, the, the, um, the, the whole, the, the, um, I mean, the, 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 all the houses around me, those 20 houses, all they in there. They all lost got, their heating systems and pumps and all that. Everybody got damaged to some extent, some worse than others. But we know. Well, we did have a flood. And, and, and then again, in I'm sorry. You know. and, and then in, again in December, the five and a half inches of rain in, in 12, whatever. But, but we, we know that that's our new, the new normal. And that um, we know that that water, you know, that, that drainage system, it comes onto town roads. And it's not, it's no longer okay just to have it go to. Into people's basements from that point. Sorry, I just I I thought it might be appropriate for me to mention in my town administrator update that one of the things I'm looking at is trying to get the funding for dealing with the hydraulic engineering up on Pine Hill and Upper Baptist. So, and my understanding was that the board had agreed that the engineering needs to be done first. So. Um, the whole MVP team has seen the FERCOG report, DEP has seen the FERCOG report, we've all discussed it and everybody agreed hydraulic engineering is the next step. So we were looking into applying for a 604B grant through DEP to get the funds for that. So and I, my assumption is that you don't do any work on the road until you've got that engineering report and know what it is you're going to be doing. So. But but when when you're already going to be paving a road to add and there's already a ditch on the one side that if it is paved would then channel water um, is, and is that project's not getting paved until that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying that's what so they're, they're, we're not moving forward with that that was the reason that got ground up in the first place was because blacktop was so bad that we couldn't do anything for the winter. It is, was just, it's a, it's, we know there's issues. We're, we're just trying to make it so that people can move along with their lives without having major obstructions and trying to drive to their house. I mean, there wasn't anything that we could do to fix that road any other way so that they could drive on it. And so you have no intention of doing the paving on Upper Baptist until, until we, we have, out the until, water until situation. we have, right, exactly. So we recognize that there are these problem areas in town that, that we need, right. I mean, we I know mean, they need to be fixed. We have different opinions about how they need to be fixed. We, we need an expert to come in and tell us how to do it properly. So and that's what I'm saying. So part of that is paving. Part of that is stormwater management. It's not an either or. It's both. Right, and Ron's saying he's not going <coughs> to save that until right. we know the, how to manage the stormwater in that area. Where we've been headed with this in the first place. Uh, it's just things that appear to be trying to be made too complicated. I'm, I'm, I don't know how to explain Where we're, I mean, I know where we're going. We're, we're trying to correct problems up there. The, other than the water going where it's always gone forever, except for during July storm where it went down over everybody's property in, in the whole town, um, the water goes where it's been always has. You didn't create new waterways. No. <coughs> but is it I'm not saying that things could be better in some ways, and that's de definitely where we're headed with this, is to try to correct 
to make sure that we're not spending money and then turning around and tearing it all back up because it's issues. We're trying to make cover all our bases before we get there. In, in terms of the highway department priorities for which we roads specifically need attention first, I know you've got Upper Baptist on there, but isn't Shelburne Falls Road <coughs> another big one on your list that needs attention? It is, but our some of our biggest issues are our gravel roads. They, I mean, they literally got wiped out and they got patched. They need a lot more work done to them. Fields, cricket. They're just about every one of them in town. Yeah. I'm sorry. There, there wasn't, I don't think there was one road that didn't have major damage to them. Either from the July 10th storm or the December. The, the 21st storm. Yeah. And then we had all them other storms all summer long that kept adding to these problems. And then yes, December 10th, or whatever the December storm was, that one kind of just really wrecked a lot of stuff that we'd already kind of patched. So I just need to know if I can spend money to continue fixing our roads. Not out of my operating budget, but out of the storm in money. I'm not looking to spend it all. I mean, they, they were generous in what they gave us, in my opinion. For what all the other towns got for storm damage, Conway did well. You know, a lot of us worked hard to make that happen. Um, I'm not saying you didn't. I think and, something happened there. That and, you know, the... But the answer to your question is like, you know, that's what these are, this is, you know, come, come and tell us what roads you want, how much it's going to cost, and, you know, and that's... I don't know how much it's going to cost. You just start putting the material down and start making it happen. I mean, do you want me to spend 20, 30 hours before I come to do a road that say, oh, we're going to use 500,000 yards of gravel when we could just, just do it? Do you want me to spend that time? I mean, everybody. So that you can say yes or no. You're going to want to spend the money. On everybody's it. everybody's responsible. Every, every town employee is responsible for, you know, the the wise use of their budget and the wise use of town's funds. And that's what we're just trying to get you to communicate what the, what your needs are, and we can, you know, um, I don't like, I don't sign blank checks for anybody. But like, there's a difference between a blank check and you saying what you need and what it's for. Like, I, like, I don't. Well, wait a minute now. You're saying I'm not. You're saying that I'm spending town money unnecessarily. No, I didn't say that at all. I said every town employee. That, I mean, that that is it's the select board's responsibility to make sure. I mean, that's what we're so to 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 to, to, to talk about to. to to determine policy in conjunction with department heads, let us know what you're doing, how much you need. Okay, like, instead of giving exact numbers, because it's pretty clear that a waste of your time is to try to come up with exact numbers when you're especially out 90% of the time on the roads, can you have like a pretty large projection saying, hey, I need to fix a quarter mile of this road here? Typically, it would cost between 100 and 175,000. Gravel roads, sir, doesn't work that way. I mean, you don't, one spot you may put three, four feet of gravel in, and another spot you may only put one. Right, but you can have like a pretty large projection or a range there, right? It could be minimum cost could be 100,000, maximum could be 300. And then you'll have the actuals after it's done. Is it very different, Ron, from the IDA that when, because we spent a lot of time driving around, Ron and I, to all the roads after the two different big storms. Is it possible to it's just use the IDA? Already, it's probably already there. Yeah, so okay. so we could just give an estimate on each of the roads and, and say, here's... A very broad range estimate. Yeah. I mean, it is actually already there in the IDA, to yeah. be honest. And then if, you know, like... If you think you're going to need to rent a vacuum truck for a particular culvert, you know, then just, you know, that would be part of the update as well. I personally don't want to micromanage. 
I don't want you to be administrator, <laughs> but these updates, you know, it doesn't need to be complicated, like you said. Broad range. Just, yeah. <laughs> Fixing the roads. That's why I say when you when you when you sat down, just tell us what you're doing, what you got coming up. That's it. You did. Oh, uh, I, well, I did, but well, <clears throat> um, you want it more specific in I mean, what's coming up, and that's what my point is. Every day, if some kind of weather changes what happens, that changes. So if I've told you that we're going to do work on, say, Fields Hill, but something else comes up, and then you're going to go, well, you didn't work on Fields Hill. But no, and then you yeah. come in the next month and you say, couldn't do this because this happened, yeah, so I, I mean, did this instead. <laughs> That's all. Okay. And it's also just trying to save you, too, because, I mean, you know, I, I remember the town meetings where you stood up and said, we're going to be doing, you know, on, on the town count, on the, you know, on our, on our website, we're going, to, we're going to be doing what the schedule of work coming up is and all that. And, and then people would complain that you didn't do that. And so, I mean, this is just getting that. Can I give another example also? Let's say we go to town, I'm sorry, capital improvements goes to town, and we ask for a new loader to do work that's necessary in certain areas. Town votes it down. You don't get that new loader. You come to us say, I, I have this work to do, but I needed that loader for it. And then we can direct you to say, you know what, town voted it down. We're just gonna have to say sorry, this work can't be done. Maybe you should think about passing this on the next vote. I mean, stuff like that can be helpful to you also, not just to us. All right, see what I'm saying? I hear you, but I don't see that happening. Well, it I'm hasn't. Sorry. Well, I know, it needs I to. Anyway. Well, you I know? Mean, what I found really helpful was right after the storms. I think pretty much weekly. I mean, there was a lot that you were, you know, cramming into that time. But I think at least weekly or every couple of weeks, we would get, you know, Veronique would forward like, "This is, you know, this is the repair we did this week. This is." I mean, there was it was a lot. It kind of that, that kind of made sense because. You know, you guys are out there. That's easy after we've done it. Right, exactly. Yeah. And this is and the first I meeting, do so. That. That's <laughs> right. not a problem. But to come and say that we want to fix half a mile of field tail road and a cost, that means I have to actually sit down and you're going to do it anyways, right. right? So I don't know why. Uh, did did you need approval tonight to spend the hundred thousand? Is that what you were? That's what I was asking. Yeah, okay. but, uh, it sounds like they want more. Well, out of our emergency, out of the emergency, yes. out of the deficit. Put it, put it on the agenda for next week. Why do we keep pushing? Do, I mean, I, mean, I, I don't. I didn't have. The only, the I didn't have here. this restriction. When I start, right. I mean, this. You, he's been he's been spending all deficit. He's been deficit spending since the storm this summer. Mm -hmm. And it sounds to me like you need a hundred thousand to get gravel and other things to be able to just I mean, continue the work. If you're so worried about how I'm spending the money, give me at least fifty grand so that I can start stockpiling stuff while places aren't busy. So that when the weather does get to a point where we can actually start doing something, you need a hundred grand for materials. Well, materials and you know, like you the, know, the roller, roller, and then probably a backer truck and that kind of thing. I mean, do you want specific dollar amount for each item? Mm -hmm. and, and do we need to vote? To you have it all along. So yeah, I mean, I'm really there's no vote on the agenda. Well, but also, he, but Ron's been deficit spending all along. I mean, this is, Ron's been buying gravel when he needed yes. gravel and yeah. using the deficit. I don't think this is something we need to vote on. I, I'm curious, sorry, why are we talking about deficit spending when the money's in? Sorry, I, not, I just, I, I mean, Ron was spending money without coming to us for previous approval. I, it was deficit spending. It's not now, but that was just my that was oh, my example. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew the money's in. Yeah. It's yeah. Not deficit spending, but basically the same idea. 
that it's not okay, out of it's not out of So I mean that, so that's the thing. So before it was deficit spending that was author that was authorized. Now it's spending that is not part of your budget and has not been allocated to you. It is not appropriate. So now it requires a vote. Huh? I'm sorry, I missed that. It, it didn't require a vote before, but now it does? There, there was a vote to authorize deficit spending. Now the money is available, but it has not been allocated to his budget. So there would be, there needs to be a vote to take the money that was borrowed or obtained and, and allocate it to a specific purpose. But it, huh? You can't just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not following that at all. I, I'm, I'm just not, I'm, I'm confused because it, it's still the same account that Mike set up. It's just not. Just because the money's in there doesn't mean the process is any different than it was before. This was in anticipation of funds coming in. So I guess I'm just, I just need to know so that I know what to do. If, if somehow now every time anything's spent out of that it has to be voted on, that's just a different process. I just need to know. What. And, I, and I think that's that's not a productive process either. If Ron it, has to come, you know, every week and say, He's got his budget the town meeting money. authorized. Town meeting, off, the, the select board was by law able to authorize deficit spending in, in, for, the emer, for, for the emergency. That deficit spending is no longer deficit because there is money in place. That money has not been allocated to his department or passed by town meeting for his department. Therefore, it requires a vote. The town meeting needs to vote on this? Not town meeting. The, the so town meeting voted. Town meeting vote to spend on repair of the roads out of that account? Yeah, that's, 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 that. what, that's what the borrowing right. authority was about. Exactly. So this is why I'm, I'm completely confused there. about. Why did we get the money? To repair the roads. We did. We had the money. Yeah, but why did yeah. we get it? We, we to, to fix, fix the roads. roads. <laughs> Wait, so it's oh, well, Yeah. The longer we wait, the more it's going to cost, too. Yeah. All right. Prices what? don't go down. They haven't been. <laughs> A 4% increase, I've got maybe more I think maybe we need to discuss our process a little further, mm -hmm. but not delay the purchase of material. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that, if, if, I know there's no vote, but that's my take on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think you can buy material. Yeah. <laughs> and then again, let's just not make this complicated on either side. We don't need exact numbers. We don't need every single update. Business as usual is business as usual. What's outside of that? Okay. <laughs> Clear as mud. <laughs> so we're clear because coming in here, not having a clue what was expected. Yeah, well, we didn't either. Yeah. But next time, <laughs> what'd you do? Oh. What'd you spend? What do you think you're going to do? What do you think you might spend? What are your obstacles? What do you need help with? Yeah. So spend what I spend out of my normal operating budget too is that what you're asking that's already been approved i assume you, you do that but, anyway but that's what we want to know about but that's already been approved business no. as usual right right you're going to repair roads we all know that what's outside that this complication came up yeah. right okay <laughs> thank you Ron. Bringing that blood pressure in here next time. Deb, Deb, are you here for Veterans Park? Kate, Deb. It's Kate. Yeah, yeah. Right. I just wanted to um, hear right. what the, the date is that you decide on for the tree All right. So, we, so um, y'all got the the, um, the the material. So yes. We're not meeting right now as the Shade Tree Commission, so we're not d discussing the specific trees. That's um, that's part of the Shade Tree Commission's response. But, but but we are we are meeting. We are talking about what date we want to have the hearing and how much time Ron it needs and all that. But I don't know that we need a hearing. Actually, Ron just left. I should <laughs> <laughs> because he had mentioned to me that it's oh the Shade Tree only applies to the roadways. 
That is true. It's it your town applies. property. The yeah. select board has yeah. the authority to say. Uh, I actually know the shade tree law pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I wrote up what I thought was going to be passed. Ooh. Right? And it does, it, you're correct. It only includes the um, right of way. Thank right. you. So right we don't need to have a hearing. We just have to approve the removal of this. So is this a committee we can report trees we feel are a danger? They're, they're that's what, that's, what the, tree, that's, that's the tree warden. The wires on, on the way to the dump. That's why we have a tree warden. Yeah, that's yeah. Walter. Okay. That's Walter. It got so much worse than when I showed up. Uh, I just to let you know, through. I also gave Walter the information of the woman who contacts EverSource monthly mm -hmm. and lets them know about trees that are coming close to falling on power lines. So if it's oh, near no. an Eversource line, it's even better. This is a woodpecker has gone after a dead, very mm -hmm. tall dead tree, mm -hmm. and it's more than, it's about halfway through the base now. Mm -hmm. And so in a little while, it's coming. Yeah. And it's right on the side of Old Cricket Hill on the right-hand side going up to the dump. And yeah, isn't I mean, there a power line that goes up that it's, side? Mm -hmm. it, it, no, the power line's on my side, but oh. it's, it's on a hill, so it's coming that way. Got it. It's okay. going to land on the power lines. Okay. Is one of Matthews Road by Helen Spencer's old place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Um, so Kate, we're just going to so we can just it's on the it's on the agenda to discuss and vote. So we can just vote to authorize the removal of the trees as set forth in the memorandum supplied to us. Was that a motion? Yeah, I'll second. Aye. Aye. All Aye. 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 So it's unanimous. Um, there you go. So, I don't know, I guess that's the theme for tonight, much to do about nothing. Um, but, uh, so we don't need a, we don't need a uh, shade tree hearing, Kate. Still there? Okay, thank you. And, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you so much. You wanted to be able to do it by May, I think, or by March, so, or with May, yeah. Um, I guess now you can, for sure. Okay, yeah, oh. we'll, we'll schedule the work. And I think I already Thank told you. you, but I couldn't find who the owner of that fence was. But the um, real estate lawyer I talked to said more than likely, if it's not in um, any any of the town documents, it's probably the owner of that white um, multi-unit building. Okay, good to know. Thanks for doing that research. Of course. Good luck, Kate. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. See ya. All right. Um, the transfer station decal, we can wait till after the finance committee, and the same with, well, we can sign the warrant now um, while we get the finance committee up. But this is the standard, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the owl picked up. Back. I think so. But they can always move up. So I move that we find um, the warrant for presidential. Just a team. Uh, yes, I'll second that. Oh, it's already Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I was going to say that really doesn't. That's kind of. Okay. We're going to into that. I'll make a motion to call the finance committee to order jointly with the honorable select board. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Roy? Easy. Doesn't matter anyway. Easy. Four to one. Four hour carriage with no extensions. I make a motion to approve the uh, meetings of the uh, February 12th finance committee. Second. All, All in second. favor? Do I put his name Aye. Tom? Aye. Aye. Tom? Yeah. Yep. I'm Roy. He's eating. He's eating. Four hours in front of extension. Yep. Oh, he said yes. yes. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. So. I just put them up in numerical order, whatever order. <laughs> <laughs> Received a copy of my proposed budget the other day. 
And as usual, I annotated it in, at the bottom. Uh, yeah, the blue part there. Um, oh, I hit that, sorry. I'll oh, that's all right. Uh, itemizing the expenses of our office as far as contracts and things like that are concerned. Uh, they produced our overall budget by just about, oh, $2,000 roughly. I would like to ask for $1,000 back to put in office supplies because the, with this budget, there's no room for anything that might come up. Everything is kind of budgeted right down to the, to the pin, uh, as in pin money. <laughs> so uh, that would push us up to 69 to 69, which is still less than last year, I'm pleased to say even though some of our contracted uh, items have gone up, but you can see the salary segment has gone down quite a bit because we hope to be having one person do the jobs of, uh, you know, pick up Lori's part-time few hours for the uh, assessment, assessment office as well as doing the administrative assessment job. And so that is budgeted at uh, $39,000 for the two jobs combined. I'm sorry, like you said that your total was 69. How are you getting to 69? If you look at the bottom yeah. line, it's currently 68 to 69. Yeah. And I'd like to add $1,000 oh, back okay. so in. Oh, okay, this doesn't have the, okay. So you want yeah. the office supply line to, 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 to have 2,000 instead of Yes, okay. yes, just because within that lower grouping, uh, we can spend money in different categories, right. you know. That's just one place to put it, I don't care. Can you make that change? I mean, just well, that, like, yeah, just about everything. Um, where do you want it? The Road. office supplies. Oh, I threw it. Instead of office 19. supplies, yeah. yes. Yeah, 19. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bernie. I got thinking about it today and realizing there was just no give anywhere. I need some ballpoint pens. <laughs> well, you might. <laughs> but, and if it doesn't get, you know, I'll try very hard not to spend it, of course, yeah. and it would go back. Um, and as you see down below, the $39,000 for the administrative assessor is based on $25 an hour at 30 hours a week. Yep. Uh, we assessors are going to be going out doing our own field work, but there's a great deal more of it involved now. And so we did put aside $2,400 to cover us for that. It would be two assessors for four hours a week, 20 weeks a year, $15 an hour. And this is to do our site visits in which we review the, all the details of the property. We uh, look at all the buildings. We hopefully get a chance to speak with the owners and take new to photographs to update our records as required. Yep. Um, the mileage would answer to that too, as well as picking up any traveling that we have to do. I have to go to Springfield tomorrow, for example. Uh, so we do have certain mileage expenses, modest, but we do have them. So uh, I'll be using a little bit of 24's mileage money tomorrow. Sorry. Thank <laughs> you. Yep. And the, um, as I say, everything else is pretty much proscribed. Are they, do they have questions for me, please? Yeah, where do you have the mileage? Area? It's, um, mm -hmm. it's Sorry, right there, not just under total salaries, right there. Okay. Oh. One in bold. Yep. Oh, here you go. Okay. Yep. You have to bold. Yes. I think because it's a new, it was a new category a year yeah. ago that it went bold. Yeah. A renewal to tire to tireless? One year. One year only. Uh, we have to have an overlap here. Right. In order to be able to completely double check mm -hmm. one system against the other. Yeah. And uh, we would like to, and we always have a request in a separate article for money to refeed re re into the uh, revaluation account. And we'd like to ask that to increase to $6,000 a year instead of the five that we've had for many years now. We do have to hire our consultant every year uh, to come in and review the power company 
uh, Eversource, NSTAR, their report and the telephone companies, as well as looking at the hydro plant and our large solar arrays. So having to hire him every year now uh, makes a difference. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Thank you. The uh, laptops you got to do yep. your, your site work, how, how yes. is that working out? It's going to work out very, very well. Uh, Tyler, as I, I mean, Tyler Patriot hasn't programmed it yet. Uh, we're getting, the request has gone in today for the data from Patriot. But from Tyler, mm -hmm. for Patriot, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so once that's gone over, they'll get all that loaded up and then they'll go ahead and, and program that. Yeah, in the meantime, when we're going out, we have our camera, we have our old methods. Yeah, yeah. Yep, take a little bit longer, not quite as slick. And as nice as, it'll be nice to have that data just automatically fevered into the computer when we come back to the office. Right. Yeah. John, we on top droid. Anyone have any further questions? Pretty straightforward. So thank you. Okay. Just one question in terms of new growth uh, this year. Do you think you might have anything for us before May 1st? Yes. Okay. Because the businesses are required to report by March 1st. Okay. We've had some, but we haven't had, we haven't had NSTAR yet. They haven't reported theirs yet. And they tend to be one of our larger contributors to new growth as they go along replacing towers mm -hmm. and so forth by the high tension lines. That's all new growth to us, and that has really saved our bacon some for the last oh, several yeah. years. Yes with coming in at, you know, two and three million dollars a year in new growth. And so that's been very, very nice. Uh, yes, by May 1st, I'm sure we can. Thank you. Thank you sure. very much. Wait, Lee, I've, I've got a question. It's sure. Roy. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. Easy. I was going to say, I know that oh. voice. <laughs> Can folks hear me? Yep. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So look, um, I see that you have uh, is there any uh, mileage that you have to pay the uh, assessors to for their site visits? Uh, well, we'd like to be reimbursed for it. Okay. But it's there. Okay. And there it is. Start the year 12, yep. Okay. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Nobody else? Okay. Well, you know where to find me if you have questions. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, thank you. first budget, well my second actually, I don't think there's a whole lot of changes. Um, I upped the mileage and lodging. As you can see, I've already used this year's and that's only one conference. Mm. Um, <laughs> and I don't, you know, just, I like to go to more than one in the year. Um, software support went up. Of that three thousand, a thousand dollars of that is the software for the clickers. That's the software support for the clickers. So mm. the remaining is for my databases and the postage meter and whatnot. Mm. Um, just about everything else is pretty, pretty much the same. Well, so. You bumped the advertising. Did I bump the advertising? No, the advertising. I think is. Oh yeah, you're right. It's the same. same. It's the same. And that is all contingent. How much I spend is based on how many bylaws they change at town meeting. No, no. <laughs> if they don't change any, I don't get to spend any. Like Ron said, depends on the weather. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's on them. <laughs> we'll try to not change any <laughs> That would be really appreciated for a little while. <laughs> well, then I'm the one who always has to explain them in plain English. 
that is so true. Do myelin lodging to cover the bar bill? Um, the, yeah, <laughs> no, it doesn't. It covers the mileage and the hotel I'm expenses for the I'm conferences. Sure. So um, yeah, the, 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 the bar bills are usually included. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that in Boston? Um, the what last one I went to was on the South Shore of Connecticut. Oh, wow. The next one Must have gotten is, a group rate. The next one's in, the one we just had was in Devons, and oh. then there's one in Plymouth and one in Springfield, which mm -hmm. obviously I don't stay yeah. at that one. Mm -hmm. I drive back and forth. Mm -hmm. So far, as folks from Boston know where Devons is. <laughs> or Springfield, for that yeah, matter. Uh, <laughs> flying to Bradley. Any questions on it? No. Any questions? I don't. Mm -hmm. Roy. Roy, you have any questions? No questions. Phil? No question. No questions. No. Good. Thank you. He's thinking. I mean, I I don't know, four percent. That's a four, five percent increase. For what? Overall. So oh, 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 oh. It's, you know. Do you monopolies like software support? Hey, exactly. Postage. Postage. <laughs> Hotel expenses. Yeah. Pretty much. You know. Pretty much uh, the reason our, our budgets have increased in the past few years has been because Microsoft, mm -hmm. <laughs> people control the gravel pits. <laughs> There's not much zero we have. Price of Cheerios. <laughs> All these monopolies. I mean, if you want to take that $50 service call off, you can. I haven't used it in a few years, but that's what the guy charges us to do the maintenance on mm -hmm. our old-fashioned ballot box when it needs it. That wooden ballot box? Yeah. $50 a year. $50? Yeah, that's all he ever charges me to come do it. But that's we, funny. Yeah. <laughs> because there's not a lot to do. <laughs> But we it's a deal. Well, he's, 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 he's the only one who can do it. Oh, exactly. He is the only one that can do it. He's an old <laughs> clock maker. Maybe the, the, uh, one for the friend that tech can have a program. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can start up an apprentice program. <laughs> that's great. That's great. It sounds like that's one of our better deals. Yeah. <laughs> he's a friendly monopolist. He doesn't raise his prices. Benevolent dictator. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I hope I hope the clickers work out for the juniors. Well, they eventually did. They did. <laughs> they did eventually. You know, <clears throat> board of registrars hasn't changed at all. They're not getting a raise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions on that one? I know that's a. It's an excellent budget. That's, that's a fantastic that's, budget. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's a, yeah. Okay. Um, I did make a last minute change on this that I have to make another last minute change on. I had added a line item for police detail. It's something that the majority of town clerks cover. And we were lucky with Kenny that he usually just. Um, but I had added 750, but then after talking to Donnie to find out what the part-time wage actually is, I changed it to adding a thousand because it's three elections at $22 an hour, 14 hour days. Sorry, where did, did this not did transfer I, that's properly? It's the one the, I sent you at like four o'clock that the, had the extra line item. That's the last one that you sent us. Yeah, so that's why I'm not understanding why it's not in. I don't know. I, I oh, you know why? Because I it, it didn't come up for me that I it, the email here. Okay, so um, let me just add in the line real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, basically underneath the six thousand for hourly is an additional thousand for police detail. Yeah. Why wouldn't that be covered in the police department? It's budget? not supposed to be. Why? Because the elections in town clerk, I double checked with the clerks throughout the state, and the very large majority of them, it comes out of their budgets, not the police department budgets. It's a special request by us for them to cover it. I mean, some towns, the select board pays for it. <laughs> really 
because legally it, it's oh this, no no I, I, uh, I can't find the update oh, <laughs> well it's it's there now okay <laughs> it's up there now and I think the only other things that went up is software support yeah. and postage yep. it's a bunch of minutes um, yeah. I did go. I did go up a little bit on the hourly for the people who work, work the polls, and you can see it's because I've gone over almost every year. You know, uh, fifty-five thirty-four was over. 50, you know, the fifty-three fourteen was over. And again, we've got four elections, three elections, four elections, big ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at the big picture. Right? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Line eight. Oh, look. There. Okay. I got it. Now it's a thousand. Got yeah, it. it's a thousand instead of seven fifty. Got it. I, I had figured at seventeen dollars an hour, and he went, oh, I can't ask him to do that. That's five dollars an hour less than what they made. Yeah. I mean, so this is an increase to the police department budget of a thousand dollars above and beyond what we already saw. That's what this is. It's this budget was leveled. Th yeah, except this isn't on the police department budget. It's on my well, budget. I don't. I, I don't get that at all. It's, well, it's police, police, police doing the job for the town that they need to be doing. It's if he needs more money to pay his officers. This more isn't money. on him. You might this know is... this, Phil. Actually, so if a police in detail, if a police officer is needed for um, a school to direct traffic out of a. Um, a parking lot does that go on the school budget or the police budget just a question the school has a school resource officer I don't but um, if we'll see that that would be frontier and that would be the deer for the police department so I don't care um, <laughs> well, so, um, it, it, but it's the same thing but I mean I'm not gonna say that every other town clerk in the state's doing it wrong because the vast majority, it comes out of their budget, mm -hmm. except for the larger cities where I said some of them the select board pays for it, some of them the general fund pays for it. But the vast majority of town clerks, it comes out of their budget. Because it's all part of the election. Exactly. Yeah. If I can offer my two cents uh, from a payroll standpoint, I don't really like it too much. It, it just really complicates things. There's Seems to me it could come from the police department budget. Hey, I mean, to me, I don't care. You guys will just have to tell Donnie he's got to put more money in his budget to do it. <laughs> yeah, and it means they have to fill out separate timesheets or, I mean, mm -hmm. if, if you're calling it detail, is that is that really detail? Is it falling, falling under the Mass General Law detail laws? In that, in that case, we'd be billing for it. And I, I don't quite understand where this is coming from. Well, I just put detail because that's the word that came into my head. I don't have to call it detail. Yeah, so it, I don't think it should be called detail because that's outside detail. So yeah. if you are going to include it in your budget, I would just put hourly police work. But um, so could, would they be paid at their regular rate? Yes, their, their part-time rate. Then, then we should increase the police budget by that amount. Yeah, it's just a service the police department offers to it, for it, the town, just it like is, any other thing they do for the but, town. But because, I mean, it's in here because, like I said, the vast majority of towns, the town clerk is the one who pays for election coverage. But, again, what, I don't... What budget care. was it in last year? It, uh, I don't know. It wasn't in mine. How did Randy get paid? It wasn't in mine. It was I don't in the know. police budget. It was out of the police budget. It's yeah, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny did it out of his. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like I said, I don't care. It was brought to my attention mm -hmm. that, you know, this is how all the other towns are doing it. Why aren't we? I double checked. They are. So. Uh huh. From the police budget, again, still the town care. has to pay for it. I, I know. I know. So if it's if it's if it doesn't make if it doesn't make any difference to anybody, then let's just make. The, well, it may um, make a difference to Donnie. <laughs> well, let's just let's just make our billing. Pe you know, let's just make Jan's life easier. And, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, let's great. just do that. It's. And the employees' life. I mean, it would mean they'd have to fill out a, a separate timesheet for that. Those hours they worked too. Mm -hmm. They do, don't they? Isn't don't they build, do this one a little bit differently? Probably. 
I mean, I don't know. Okay, anything else? Yeah, I mean, if the example does you do not get over it. Yeah, but I would, I would think that in this part, case, the town, yeah. if, if you were going to do it this way, then the town would have to send a bill to the town clerk's office for for the services, yeah. or one That's department right. have to bill the other, have to do a formal billing process. Yeah. And then it would be paid. So I, you know, I don't, that, that seems complicated yeah. to me when it's all within the same. You can get that on a thousand of the lease budget. I will let him know. Or I can when I leave. He told me to update him when I was done. So Blame us. No. Not blame so Phil. We're back down to 12,000. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically say Alan. Exactly. No. <laughs> blame the finance commission. I'm not going to be out of here until I've got it. All he's got to do is launch. That when I'm back at the office. <laughs> so we can take that line right back. Take I, I will do that later. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other, anything else then? Nope. Nope. Are you sure? Question? Before you have any further questions, comments? I can think it is enough. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Janet, it's all yours. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Did you have a particular order you wanted to do, Jan? I just went to this, but if you wanted to do like Parks and Rec first and then do all yours, however you want to do it. Yeah. This is perfect. I'm having a little bit of trouble with sound hearing you. I hope, I hope we can work it out. But, um, so yeah, just, just to start, the salaries, we have a small increase in the salary line because we changed the position of, or we added hours to the assistant treasurer collector. They're now going to be doing some accounting functions at two hours a week, so that went up a little bit. And as we have been doing for the last three years, we're including some uh, wages for training for when I leave. Um, I would recommend you continue to do that. And uh, down below, we have uh, mileage postage. Everything pretty much the same, except we have a software increase as usual. Software goes up significantly each year and postage increase. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question regarding the uh, increased salary line for the assistant treasurer. Is this, this does not reflect that we're considering paying more. We had talked to this a uh, couple of meetings back. Brody. That was more hours, not. That's more hours? That was more hours. Okay. Yeah, she went from um, uh, unbenefited to a 20-hour benefit. Okay. That was the difference. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, and should we work him with Mike? Right, some of those additional correct. hours? Yeah. Yeah. And, yes. uh, and would that be, uh, we're not taking into account any potential for a, an hourly rate increase? Sorry, I can't hear it. If the there's hourly a rate increase, there. is this reflecting any potential for an hourly rate increase? Is there, or there was something else? None of the discussed? budgets have, except the one I put forward, none of them have any COLA or increase. In All them. right, thank you. Thank you. Except for Veronique's exception. Except for that. Except for the exception. Thank you. John, John, Rihanna, Roy, Tom, any questions? No. Thank nope. You. No further questions? Thanks, Jan. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Jan. Thank yeah. you. Which one next? So, um, well, we can go in order, I guess. I'm not sure which one's in order. How about debt service? Uh, well, next would be parks the Parks and Rec. Rec, so it's up to you. Oh, okay. Sure, let's do Parks and Rec. So we did add um, an additional $1,000 to Parks and Rec, and that was uh, um, really just to cover the porta potty expenses there. Um, in the last three years, they've more than doubled. We're paying $180 per porta potty for um, a couple different sites, and we wanted to include an additional one if the pickleball courts were going to happen. So the thousand dollars, although it may appear that way, it's not really to cover the new stipend. It was more because of our increased um, expenses. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Uh, don't worry about that. that. Okay. It's rather earthy. Or earthy Before Lord, he you said it, I actually wrote it. Down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's for a local business as well. All right. Yeah. 
any more questions on that one? If not, we can. Any questions? Rihanna, Roy, Tom, no. Roy. We're really, we are treating those pickleballers better and better, though. They don't have to, they don't have to hold it in as long and run to the near to, to further. <laughs> yeah, they used to get the boat painting for the festival. They'll be going year round with them. Well, we keep we keep one at the grammar school for youth sports, and keep another one down at the ball field yep. for a variety of events. Yep. So we're on debt service, is that good? Yeah. Sure. Yep. So we just um, have two notes left. The fire truck note is done. We're still paying on the garage. So we budgeted $54,245. And you may recall we partially fund this um, payoff with free cash. And that was initially done to stabilize the debt payment so we didn't it was less impact on the taxpayer. So we'll need to put in 11,755 from free cash in order to pay that note. And then we have uh, the third year of our paving note at 55,000. That's the final payment. Any questions? Any further questions? John, you want to Roy, Tom? No. No? No, no further we'll questions ahead. on this. Thank you. And then there's the interest portion. Are we on that yet, Ernie? Yeah, we're on 751. Yeah, so I think it's just the interest on those two notes. Kind of straightforward. Short term interest next. What's next? Yep, short term. That one's even okay. more simple. <laughs> yep, it's, nope, no it's more or less a placeholder um, in case we needed to take any um, cash flow notes or anything like that. We would have a line item that we could transfer funds into. We don't have anything in line right now, but we just keep that line open, line item open for a dollar. And then the interest payments are for uh, refunds mm. when we have to refund 8% mm. uh, interest on payments that have already come in. So that happens when someone gets an abatement on their real estate bill after the fiscal year has closed and they've already paid it, they're entitled to some interest. So that's that. K-1 employee benefits, right? Yep. Yep, we're there. Yeah, so uh, Veronique, I uh, found a, a calculation error in my worksheet. So I don't know if you show that worksheet or not. I, the one I emailed to you oh, earlier. Um, yes, where did I? Hang on a second. Do you want to share that now? Yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, there's an awful lot of data there. I mean, everyone got it emailed to them, right? Um, probably a while back, so it's been a little yeah. while since. Which, which yeah, slide so, do you want to look at? Yep, liabilities? you're in the right place. So over to the right, I calculate the whole history of school and town health insurance. And uh, the rates are there in bold on the first column, and I had updated the school part with the new rates for fiscal 25 because we just received them last week, but I hadn't updated the town, so I did have to add some additional money. So um, anyway, there you have it. So the new number is for health insurance is four hundred and ninety-seven thousand. What's the six percent? Six percent rate increase this year. Four hundred ninety-seven. Okay, I, maybe I'm in the wrong place here. I see four fifty-nine. Oh, I'm not over far enough. Never mind. Never mind. No. So that's just that. So um, <laughs> now, if you go over to the left. This is just the worksheet, not really the budget sheet, but if you go over to the left, you'll see in the uh, insurance part, I break down town, school, and then I always budget for an additional family plan, an additional individual plan, and we do have some out-of-town insurance expenses for shared school employees. Am I on the wrong one? Can no, you you're right. You just go down a little bit. Right there. Okay. Right there. Okay. Okay. Got it. 
Okay. So it's 496, 18388. I round it up to 497. Do you see it? Yep. Line 33. <laughs> what, was the, what was the health insurance increase last year? Uh, last year, I think, was 0%. Right. Yeah. Uh, gosh, I just did that in my annual report. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was zero. So is that that's like a pattern now the past four years of it. It's like zero and then a big number and then zero or it's low number, big number, low number, big number. It seems to be. Um, they're basing it on their claims and they say that their claims have been through the roof and their reserves have gone down, that we're still in good shape, but we're losing, I think he said something like $2 million a year. So they want to make sure they hang on to those reserves that they don't deplete too quickly. But it was uh, all, all but one member, and I think that was Ashfield, voted in favor of it. Should I take us back to the 900? Yeah, so you can take us back to the um, budget worksheet again, if you don't mind. Okay, all set. There we go. Yeah, so, um, you know, our, our retirement contribution uh, seems to always increase every year. It's out of, out of our hands. And then I take, uh, for unemployment, I take our gross wages from last year and try and estimate what we might have for expenses this year. Gross wages always go up a little bit every year, so that always goes up a bit, too. Life insurance has stayed the same for a long time. It's a very inexpensive um, part of our budget money that we contribute to employees. Uh, in Medicare, I do the same thing by calculating last year's gross wages. So, the so 39, 39 to 44 is a little bit yeah. more than I would have thought. Um, so if you, if you wanted to see where I got that number back on my worksheet, um, I have the gross wages, but I don't, I don't remember if I did analysis of last year. Where am I looking? Uh, down here in Medicare? Yeah. Yeah, I go down. See that Medicare? There. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's where I came up with the number. So that's how much we go up and down each year. So we were up two and a half percent this year. Sorry, trying to adjust for. Yep. Why is that? Okay. Let's sort of see it now. Yep. So this is just the difference in our our gross taxable Medicare income. That's the annual estimate. So I have, to, I have to take that number, 3,086, and multiply it by 0. 0.0145 to come up with the number. Okay. The town's portion of Medicare. I have a question, uh, Jan. Are we, anticip are we assuming that the number of employees that we're paying benefits for stays the same for fiscal year 25 as for this year? Or are we assuming any change? Um, it didn't stay the same, and those numbers are up above, if, Bernie, if you don't mind going back to the health insurance. But I think we actually uh, increased this year, if you go way over to the right in 2000. So it's broken out by school and town. So. Let's see, the town stayed the same. Let's, I mean, the school stayed the same. Let's see what the town says. If you go down a little bit. Oh, they're the same too. Oh. So we're not, there was we're not no increase one? there. I'm not going to be up one. So I see 41 last year and 41 this year for school and 13 and 13 for town. Oh. Well, we should be up one, right? For the assistant what, treasurer. What do you mean? For the assistant treasurer, right? Well, 
So that will be an, an addition for next year if she should choose to take health insurance. Okay. All right. So that's why I always put in an extra one just in case we pick up an employee somewhere. But, you know, the, the numbers just, they move around so much. It depends yeah. often on how, <clears throat> especially the school, how many aides they're going to need. Yeah. Um, you know, right now we're down two highway guys, so that yeah. it's really hard. It's such a hard number to put it. Yeah. On paper. Thank you. Anyone have any further questions, yeah. comments? No, I don't. Roy, any questions for comments? No, but no, I'm, I'm we're, fine. we're good here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay. That's it for my budgets, right? Twelve. <laughs> yep. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Before you adjourn, if I could oh. just talk about scheduling in March 5th. March 5th, okay. March 5th. March 5th is election day, but it's also the uh, frontier. Yeah, all the frontier uh, budget. Uh, budget meeting. Oh my goodness, down at the library media at center. The, at, in Deerfield, at the high school, at the second floor okay. media center. Okay. What time? Six. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. I'm trying to get. So, as, as most of you know, I'm on the frontier school committee, yeah. the budget committee, and the capital committee, um, and. There's a lot of good good parts to the budget that we're recommending. Um, the overall is, I think, 3.14. Um, the bad part is that Conway's that's minimum that's contribution um, went, is up. And when you look, so our number of students went from, I think, 78 to 74 at the school, and yet the budget is up, the budget is 3.14, but our assessment is going to be 5.2, you know, yeah. whatever. Some, some, some Deerfield, thousand. Deerfield, whose student population went up by 15 kids, um, their their assessment's only going to be going up 1%. Oh, jeez. How come? <laughs> um, the state said so. How disparity? Be, because the other three towns all had a higher movement in the minimum required. Is it part of that rolling five-year thing it, or it, not? Well, it, no, the Why rolling five on? thing is, is about, it's, it, that should that, that actually works the in the other direction oh, really? without the rolling five five oh, like, um, but and and Waitley in particular is looking yeah. at like nine whatever nine or ten yeah, percent. Yeah, got after, whacked last year too. No, Waitley got was like a well, minus. Yeah, nine. Well, last year. Who got yeah. whacked with it? Suddenly got whacked. Yeah, last year? but but um, but because because so so now Deerfield because they realize that like oh they're only paying one percent they want all this extra stuff. Oh. And in the budget, Jeez, the plates and, already and loaded. The, so the budget committee, the, so we recommended the three point, which is a level services budget. Yeah. Um, Deerfield wants a, now they want a full time athletic trainer. They, wow. uh, they this the, and and you know they so and, which would make the budget, mm -hmm. go, oh, yeah. you know, it would make the budget go from three point one four to three point like six or three point seven, and. And it's like, well, you know, because they know now's the year that they're not paying. So now, you know, and so, yeah, 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 yeah. so I was really trying to get everybody to go to it and just try to hold right. firm on the budget that's okay. that's um, mm -hmm. right. that, that's being reported out. Yeah. Um, yeah. That this, mm -hmm. the administration supported and everything else. But there's a lot of good stuff happening because yeah. um, there's more money. The school choice, we're, we're like number three in the state in terms of percentage of school choice, oh, um, like rev, whatever, the revenue-wise, like the lack, People not, choosing not in. upside, yeah, choosing in yeah, versus going yeah. out. Um, Here in the radio, a, some of the towns, like Hamp talking about, you know, maybe having to cut the kids because saying the Fed money's gone away now. Some well, these they're, schools, they're, Amherst, you know, the, just kind of so frontier doesn't have the same situation. No, we, the, the the policy is that you can't take a you can't take a, a, a choice in if it's going to make you have a new hire. Mm -hmm. So oh. like you can't you know because most of the classes were 15 you know or, or less. Right. And you know so now they're 16, 17, 18. But if if it, if there's no increased cost to have those kids come in, right. Whatever. Right. Um, and um, but the. The thing is that the, one of the more remarkable things ha is that um, the uh, fewer fewer uh, charter and private like than ever before. The number of charter uh, kids has gone down um, from last year by like thirty percent. Good, they're not going. They're not choosing. No, them. no, they're 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 back at Frontier. Oh. 
Um, the Chinese version school didn't work out. No, no it, it's um, and and nobody and and then the other thing, um, the, the, they made they made a good investment um, with the whatever, and so the interest money in that was a lot more, and because the health insurance was only zero, right. whatever. So right. so um, they're going to be the. In the, the track we, we borrowed all that money for the track yeah. um, this is going to be the last year of the interest payment and then we're paying oh. off the whole note oh, 18 years early oh, cool. um, and saving all the borrowing costs yeah. and all that stuff um, and there's a couple other good stuff too but um, so does that just mean Deerfield can decide to spend more Deerfield every year spends like drunken sailors I'm sorry um, yeah. but like that's okay. Well, they have, they're they have, Deerfield. They have a tax base, and we, yeah. we don't. So that's yes. good for them. Yes, there's a reason they call their new garage the Garage Mahal. Yeah, mm. like yeah. we don't. We ours is not that. So with our no, our, but it's got two big ten like bed. Like we're getting every step. Of, <laughs> I think no shit. The what reception yeah, that we are going to. Yeah, so so we did. Deal. So okay, that's so we're not having we're not having a meeting that week. Yeah. Um, but we should all go to well oh, yeah. so what I, yeah. I did yeah. was as you said I posted we will put posting as a joint right. yeah. finance committee and select board but meeting yeah. at the school committee instead okay. and just and we'll just Sorry. push the budgets back yeah. what day of the week so it's not a Monday it's, it's election Tuesday. day it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday. 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 Yeah. oh what the primary or something yeah, yeah. or one of those ones I don't know yeah who's um, so <laughs> where do you go at the high school, yeah, it's the second floor of the library. The Media Education Center. Yeah. When's With the, the elementary roof. school budget? <laughs> when are they going to meet and talk? Do you know? Yeah. That? Um, you wear that hat too? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Jeez, you're Actually, a white that, in a hat rack. Uh, no, no, I'm. Yeah, it's time for someone else. But uh, yeah. but that that budget's even kinder. So everybody's going to be happy with that one. That's under three. So. Although I've been over wrong? the years a three percent increase. You know, sounds all right yeah. until three percent of a big number gets to be a big number itself. Yeah, I understand, but, but it's still a big number. But when you know, and over three years, it's almost ten percent increase. We're super lucky because our you know our contract this year the, the, they're they're on two percent increase this year, and um, the, if you if you if you've been paying attention to see what the state what the contracts have been coming in on across this, you know, we've had the whole thing is strikes this year. The number of strikes that we've had. And um, it's where everybody's really nervous about that because it's illegal for teachers to strike. There's yeah. a state yeah, law, and um, they're striking for days on end, causing all kinds of you know uh, well, havoc. Thing, the city and then, of Newton went on strike, and then they're getting they're, and then they're getting fined as a union. You know, yeah. paltry amounts, twenty thousand, fifty thousand, yeah. and it's not that's not not at all adequate to discourage that action. Yeah, um, right. Although. That's the only card they can play. Yeah. I well, what you know, the, 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 the thing is, play. you know, they're looking at like the interest, you know, I mean, the inflation and seven, eight percent rise in cost of living. What we have to look at is the increase in the town income over the year past, and we can't pay, like in in no universe can we pay nine percent increases, um, and you know, with and we you know, we went they were two and a half overrides yeah. and all that. It's just it's just not possible. So, they, to me, like the, the, the people that are saying we need to keep up with inflation just do not understand municipal finance in the slightest bit. Yeah. Um, but, mm -hmm. Well, just the idea, the, too, the difference between places that have, they rely solely on homeowners. Right. Yeah, you know, there's there's places down there that in Eastern Mass valued more than your place, and you're yeah. paying more taxes. Yeah, I know. Because yeah. the rates we have low. The rates that. Well, they have commercial. Maybe too. 10, yeah, 1,000. I have a question, Phil. Any discussion of the, uh, the, rural, uh, the rural rates going up for the schools? You, you yeah, um, we're gonna, they, they anticipate getting more this year than last year. Uh -huh. right. um, and the governor's recent budget cut is not going to impact our school finances because we are already getting nothing of that ten billion dollar education extravaganza bill we were getting nothing from it because that only went to urbans and ES, esl and there's a second language schools and that all that money went to 17 school districts in the state like we got 
we got an extra thirty dollars per student, which we, it's just what they give us every year anyway. It's just so. Um, yeah. Uh, so 17, 17 districts split up how much billion? Well, it's over like ten years or twenty years, yeah. but ten, ten billion. Yeah. Yeah. This is all funded through that tax. Yeah, no, um, no, some, no, some no. of it was punished through the billionaire yeah. side, but the governor went and gave away a lot of that funding in November in her big tax cuts for capital gains and for inheritance. Uh, yes, like, it your like, so um, <coughs> that's, what, that's why we just that's had huge increase or cuts to uh, mass health and um, you know everything. And, like that was just a fiasco. They they miss. They didn't do that well. They did the. They forgot about the deduction side that people would be taking. They didn't even calculate that. They only did the actual. Cut. They, just, that was a, that was a fiasco on the state's level. Um, but anyway, be there on the fifth if you can. Oh, absolutely. So, um, no, be and, there. And, and, yeah, yeah, and 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 ask questions. And I'm just, I'm just. Three point one four is was good enough, and I didn't want to go to see it go up to three point six yeah. for. Right. Well, like Two point six sounds better. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carry your hand. Thank you, Roy. Welcome back. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Roy. Welcome Thank you. Back, take, take care. See you all. Yep, yeah. Good Thank you, everybody. We still have uh, transfer station deep house. Well, we already decided it was going to be puke green, right? No, no, no. This is this is the. No, this is. Yeah. 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 Those, yeah. Are yeah. 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 those are all the policy um, questions, yeah. which you might want to table. Yeah. Next week. Because, all right, we'll yeah. table that. Yeah. Um, Cancel. Items not anticipated. Town administrator update. Uh, well, I said most of it. So no meeting. Um, honestly, the other thing that I just wanted to let you know is that I. I know Real quick, the they're front. asking about a meeting next week. Are we canceled for next Monday, the 26th? It says on the schedule that we are. 27th. 7th, we're on the 27th. Tuesday. We're on the 27th, Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Thank what, you. we got another Monday holiday? No, 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 I just, no. I'm, I'm going to be out of town two Mondays yeah. in a row, so that's why I'm meeting at the Tuesday. Yes, good meeting. That was cute. <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Yeah. All right. Um, anybody comments, concerns? Uh, let's just add to the next meeting also, like to discuss further about what we want from the department heads on these. Yeah, I think we could put together just a really simple, you know, template for them to yeah. define it a yeah. little better. It'll be a learning process. Yeah. It is too Thank you. Um, So how did you want that to be on the agenda? Discussion of? Uh, department head, um, select process. board reporting, yeah. Okay. What she said. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. So <laughs> Tuesday, 27th, 6 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone.